Virginia. This weekend we learned a little more about the Easton Peaberg rivalry. It doesn't matter if these two schools are sending their current high school teams out on the gridiron or their teams from 15 years ago. It's a battle that draws in both communities. And if there wasn't enough uh, hype already surrounding the replay, the Manning brothers added an additional element. Kristen Mayer has more. There's nothing like the NFL draft to get everyone thinking about and excited for the upcoming football season. And for the Manning brothers, being here in Easton for this Gatorade replay game made them even more anxious to get back on the field. Peyton Manning, the Indianapolis Colts quarterback, was Easton's honorary captain, and his younger brother, Eli, who plays quarterback for the New York Giants, was on the opposite sideline as Peaberg's honorary captain. Both Peyton and I are just trying to you know, root on our team, help out the guys. You know, I, after our first possession, I said, I don't have to help these guys. They got to figure it out. You know, they went down. Uh, I, like, I like their game plan. They went right after them from the get-go, spread them out, throwing it every down. But, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, you know, the guys are making plays, and Peyton and I are having fun. Just, uh, just, you know, glad to be here. It's a great atmosphere, great crowd. Uh, stadium and, and they're playing good football. Of course this matchup brings back memories of the Mannings high school football days and even though both brothers still get to play they know their high school teammates would jump at the opportunity to come back and play their biggest rival 15 years later. Peyton can really relate since he's the same age as these players. He graduated from high school in 1993, which is the same year the Easton Peaberg game ended in a 7-7 tie. He's just impressed with the players' dedication to this rivalry. You can tell they love football. They're playing hard. Uh, they're playing for a lot of pride for their communities, and uh, it's really special. Being in the locker room before the game was really cool. I felt just like I was back in high school or even before a Colts game. You could feel the adrenaline. The crowd's unbelievable, you know, for a football game uh, here in April on a Sunday. It's just a great atmosphere. and. Uh, just proud to be a part of it. Even though the Manning brothers are used to playing in front of massive crowds, they're very impressed with the number of people who filled the stands for this high school rematch. It's amazing. I've never, I've never seen this many people uh, for a high school football game. I mean, if we got a thousand, a thousand people to my high school football yeah, game, that was a big one. So this is, this is a great atmosphere, and uh, you know, it's just a great opportunity for these guys. Both brothers were impressed with the passing performance of Peaberg quarterback Keith Coleman, who threw for 302 yards and three touchdowns. And it was a surreal experience for Coleman, who got to share the sideline with Eli. It was kind of awkward coming off the sidelines and getting advice from, from Eli Manning, you know. Um, but it was cool. You know, it was a good experience. I, you know, really, I, I, I talked to Eli a lot and I thanked him for coming, you know, because they really didn't have to do this for us today. Um, but, you know, they, they wanted to be here for us. They, they heard about our rivalry and uh, they did it for us. And, and we appreciate that. And the Mannings really appreciated the opportunity to be a part of the Easton Peaberg rivalry. And based just on this reunion game, they can tell how important football is to these two communities. A hundred year old rivalry is pretty neat. And uh, that's why I think that these were the two perfect teams for Gatorade to pick for this replay game. And, uh, and what's impressive is how hard these guys have trained for three months now, getting themselves in shape. Uh, working out, hydrating, getting ready to play. So I think it's just a unique opportunity for these two teams. There's no question that it was a unique opportunity, not only for both teams, but for both communities. And while Peyton and Eli get to play again this fall, it's all over for the 93 teams from Easton and Peaberg. At Lafayette College, I'm Kristen Mayer for Two Sports. Boy, talk about an idea that really just, just, just took off. And uh, you watch some of these highlights and mm. If you didn't know it was a 93 team, you'd think no. it was a uh, current team. Everybody down mm -hmm. on the field during that first quarter was like, if you, wouldn't, if you didn't know, if you walked in there, didn't know these weren't high school guys you think they were. Both coaches, Bruce Smith for Phillipsburg, Steve Shiver for Easton, admitted that when this idea came about in the beginning, they really didn't think that this was going to take off. Even the Gatorade people were stunned. Peyton and Eli Manning stunned with the support. It was just like any other Thanksgiving Day game, but usually, well, two things. One, one is never 90 degrees, and there was, yeah, no, right, there was, right. no, there was no turkey for us afterwards. That's, yeah. That's the only problem. A little difference as yes. far as the ambience, but everything <laughs> rats are all right down to the cheerleaders, right? Yes, it was. Uniforms, everything, yes. All right, that'll do it for our show. For Doug Heater, all of us here at Two Sports, I'm Tom Mike Ranch. Thanks for watching. Good night.